Hello, it's me, Miguel's Impossible. Miguel's my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my reaction to the good life. <clears throat> That's better. <clears throat> All of me, Smigel, Sam Possible, Migos, my name is Taffrey16, welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my reaction to The Good Life. So, this was not something that was on my radar uh, until just a couple days ago. I did a reaction to uh, The Young Ones, my fifth one, and during that, uh, Vivian went on a rant about how much she hates The Good Life. <laughs> um, and uh, I, that made me curious uh, to see it myself. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So The Good Life is a British sitcom uh, that ran from 75 to 78 on BBC One, uh, starring Richard Breers and Felicity Kendall. Uh, it was a, about a main character having a midlife crisis and wants to basically attempt a modern rat race love style, uh, l lifestyle, I should say, and become totally self-sufficient. Self uh, the show drew a lot of pretty damn good viewership figures. Its first series averaged, it had three series, four series, I'm sorry, uh, 30 total episodes. Its first series averaged about 7 million viewers. Its second series went up to about, uh, I'd say, round this up, probably around 10. Um, it was at 12 at the end of the series. The third series... The lowest viewed episode was 13.1 million, and the highest was 16.7. And then the fourth series, numbers went down slightly, um, and, but then it really peaked out with its Christmas special, uh, which did 21 million viewers. So, and then after that, they had a Royal Command performance, I'm not even sure what that means, um, and that did 14.4, and that was it. So, yeah, this show did pretty well. I've heard mixed opinions on it, especially from that Young Ones comment section. I, I feel like the people commenting on it in the Young Ones comment section were more people that agreed with uh, Vivian's sentiment of it, but now that I'm actually doing an episode, I might get more people who are actually fans of the show. Um, but, uh, this is about half an hour, so let's go ahead and watch it. Also, it's funny that I got this from the Young Ones, because much like the Young Ones, I can get this on YouTube, I think, if I cut certain scenes, which unfortunately, uh, I believe, includes the intro. Uh, so be sure to check the pinned comment of this video for a video link uh, of the deleted scenes of this episode, if you are so interested. Let's watch it. This is Series 1, Episode 1, by the way. We are starting at the beginning. I just realized I sped up the intro so you wouldn't be able to hear what I said. This is series one, episode one. Starting at the beginning. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you all right, bud? <laughs> Mozart and Mendelssohn were dead by 40. Why aren't you? <laughs> Damn. How thoughtful. You bitch! Did you call? Whoa! <laughs> when I get a birthday card for my wife, I expect a sentimental, loving, sickly verse, not another nail in your coffin, you old wreck. <laughs> Blow your candle out and eat your cake. It's half past eight in the morning! Still? Oh. I thought this was gonna be a good Christian show, that came out of nowhere. Yes, well, it is half past eight, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What have you got there? Come on, you. Hand it my present. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, oh I know, I know. Give it to me, give it, give it. <laughs> uh, what's over here? It's the book. You got it. Oh, there's more. Listen, listen. Oh, not the Vaughan Williams. Nearly. Sophie Tucker. Uh, so. That life begins at four. <laughs> That's when love and living start to become a gentle aunt. Funny old age, isn't it, 40? She was 78 when she made that. Not Sophie Tucker me. One of those milestone ages, isn't it? 
Life begins at 40. That's a fallacy for a start. Did you know that after the age of 40, the body runs down? Something like two million cells die per day and they're not replaced, not ever. Exactly. What part of the body do these cells disappear from? That's true. Exactly. All over. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's not that I'm feeling old. I don't feel any older than yesterday when I was 39. It's just that I'm doing a review. Can I be in it? I-E-W. Sort of stop taking. I'm not getting all bitter and twisted. I'm not saying, oh, I've had a rotten life, but... Well, do you realise that Rat Meninoff composed his first piano concerto at the age of 19? Boom, pop a boom, pop a boom, pop a boom, pop That's Grieg. Is it? Well, never mind Grieg. All right, Grieg. It's just a feeling I've got. Is it me? See that? Job, then. Ah, not especially. A job is a job is a job. It wouldn't make it any better, really, if I were designing something useful. I'd still be a grotty little cog in a whacking great machine. No, It'd be like that sometimes. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's quality of life. That's what I'm after. If I could just get it right. What's it? It? It. Well, it is... It. <laughs> well, if I sit lying about, I shall say, now look here, it. My husband's had enough of you. <laughs> Not being very specific, am I? Borderline. Don't worry, I'm not going broody. I'm not doing it if only. I've got no patience with that. No, I'll tackle it and get it right, as soon as I know what it is. Oh. There's Jerry. Here we go again. Oh, tart. Wow. Oh. Commute, 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 commute. <laughs> this show is, show is a lot more peppy than I'm used to. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. Have a nice day. Keep your bowels open. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention the war. Morning. I see the pills aren't having any effect. No. Car going yet? No. Get in. You look like an advert for gracious living. I am. <laughs> Good reposted with his first bomb mow of the day. Shut your guard. Car looks a little sideways. Well, Mr. Ledbetter. Why, Charles? Well, Mr. I've really made an impact with you over the years, haven't I? Well, I've got sciatic. Good. Charming. No, 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 that's my name. God blimey, I've only been here eight years. Yep. Morning, morning. Lovely morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. morning. Oh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Phew. Are you fewing at this, Brian? I am, Mr. Good. It really is something, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, well. It's a mold for a plastic hippopotamus that's going to end up in a packet of breakfast cereal. <laughs> You've got to hand it to the ideas men on the fifth floor, haven't you? Electric shock treatment, preferably. Ideas, men. They sit up there like the gargoyles on top of Notre Dame. Every now and again, one of them jumps up, puts on his jester's cap and says, Eureka, hippopotamus. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Good. I didn't mean to take any credit away from you. Everybody knows it's you who bring their ideas to life. That is guilt by association. Oh, come. You wouldn't want us to go back to the dark ages. Breakfast cereals without little plastic gifts. <laughs> it would still taste the same. That's hardly the point, surely. I'm talking about aesthetic values. Your hippopotamus, for example. Ma Sit down, Brian. They can't do those gifts here. Kids are too now, stupid. Look, why don't you them. try to get out more? <laughs> Pardon? Well, 
At least that's what the government says. Lusting after women playing sport. I played cricket on Sunday. Fine, that great. Count. Let's talk about cricket for a couple of hours. Hello. Yes, Jerry. All right, I'll be up. Sixth floor. Oh, and you better get the move on. Cricket. Well, that's where my comb. Cricket. Who did you play for? Well, just the office. Office, fine. That's all I wanted to know. Which office? Well, this office here. We played accounts. I'm in this office. Nobody asked me. We didn't need to. We got my dad to umpire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about umpiring. I would have liked to play. Play? You? Well, why not me? Well, you're... We didn't think you'd still feel up to it at uh... At my age, do you mean? Yes. <laughs> I might tell you that Jack Hobbs scored more than half of his first-class centuries when he was past 40. Who's Jack Hobbs? <laughs> you bloody little swine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you lot! I am a run machine! A run machine! And I bowl! And do a lot of cocaine. Clearly. Come in. Oh, Tom. Good of you to pop up. I just wondered if you could let me have a mock-up of your hippo for Friday? I can manage it by Thursday, actually. Thursday? Oh, that's better. Listen. You've seen me play cricket, haven't you? Um. Well, up at Flittick, don't you remember? It was ten years ago. Yeah, but I played, though, and if I'm not very much mistaken, I made a few that day. One. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I got amongst the wickets there, didn't I? No, you didn't bowl. You strained your back getting your run. <laughs> I played, though, didn't I? Yes. Would you mind explaining to those children in my office that I still play cricket? Do you? Well, no, but I could if I was asked. Still got the middle-aged blues, have you? Yeah, that's another thing. Why are they all so young? Why should I be lumbered with running a crèche? Do you really want to know? Yes. All right. He's about to roast you, bro. Oh, well, I'm... Um... Boy. I want gas if I'm going to have fillings. <laughs> we joined this company, what, eight years ago, wasn't it? And you know something? I was frightened of you then. No, don't mess about. I'll tell you why. You were a better draftsman than I was, and you had better qualifications than mine. I was going to have to rely on pure cunning just to keep up with you. Still, I needn't have bothered, need I? Because look at us. I'm up here, and you're down there. Not getting picked for cricket teams. Why? Because you use about one-tenth of your ability. I have to use all mine, and what I lack, I make up for with sheer bloody crawling. Oh, God. Look, I cannot see the world as a giant plastic toy. How can you seriously make it your life's work? It isn't. It just brings in the goodies. I see, I see. All right, all right. So if I unleash all this dynamite I'm carrying around in me, I'd be up in the seventh heaven on the old sixth floor too, would I? Yes. And let's face it, you might just as well, because you're not going to walk into another job at your age, are you? I'll hit you with my crutch in a minute. No, seriously, are you? Listen, mate, Birchinall at Glover's made me a very attractive opera only just recently. Not all that recently. He's been dead for four years. <laughs> Has he? You see, your business mind is just like plastic before it goes into one of our moulds. Yeah. Formless. You just drift along. I was right, he's roasting Is it all funny? Is it all ridiculous? Yes, you do. Grown men getting out of toy hippos. Well, it is funny, isn't it? Yes, of course it's funny, but not out loud. Miss Barton, it is funny, but not out loud. Oh, <laughs> suit yourself. And I'm warning you, Tom, unless you start to take this job seriously, damn it all, you're not Peter Pan. Do you spare a minute, Jerry? Yes, of course, sir. <clears throat> I want to have a chat to you about our wildlife preservation line. Oh, well, I'll... Um... No, don't go, Tom. I think perhaps Tom ought to sit in on this one, sir. Why? <laughs> Where's he from? Fourth floor. Oh, yes, yes. I'm afraid I don't get out of the fourth floor as often as I'd like. In fact, Tom is our top draftsman, sir. He's working on the toy hippo at the moment. Oh, really? No, no. How's it, um, uh, Going? Coming. <laughs> well, as you know, the problem with these advanced designs is surface area to weight ratio. Yes, quite. In the case of the hippopotamus, I've stylized the head somewhat to obviate overhang. Have you? So that at the mock-up stage... Which I've laid on for Thursday, incidentally, sir. Ah. Oh. Yes, Thursday. I'm working on the principle of a 3 by 1.5 base. 
with a maximum height at the rump of one centimeter. Now, this gives us a box mass of five grams, which is naturally in line with the cereal manufacturer's package specifications. Whatever the fuck that means. You know, there's a much better view from the fifth floor. Tom. I'd like you to sit in on this one. Now, look here. <clears throat> a bubble has just come off the top of the think tank, and I don't <laughs> mind telling you that this is an absolute blockbuster of an idea. It's going to put our wildlife preservation series in the vanguard of world, and I do mean world, moldings. <coughs> uh, can you get what it is? Huh? No, you can't, can you? Uh, our next mold is going to be... A giraffe. <laughs> yes. And Tom, I'm thinking of putting this giraffe on your plate. <laughs> Think he just quit. thinking of taking a spoonful of cornflakes and finding a hippopotamus in your mouth. <laughs> it's choke a child week, folks. <laughs> I don't. Wait till they get to the giraffe. <laughs> Honestly, you should have heard, sir. You would have thought he'd invented penicillin. I couldn't help laughing. <laughs> Did he call you to his study and give you six of the best? No, <laughs> Jerry told him I had recurrent malaria. <laughs> Did you believe him? Don't think so. So in the afternoon, he called me Mr. Um again. <laughs> oh, I know I blew it, but... Well, I should think so. I mean, we do have certain standards to keep up. Sanity, little things like that. <laughs> I'd run off with you if you weren't married. I even love your varicose vein. <laughs> I'll grow it in the shape of your initial. <laughs> Mind you, it's our future I'm blowing, you know. In four years' time, Brian and all the whiz kids will be up on the fifth floor. Where will I be? Doing a Mr. Chips with a lot of infants. All right, I mean, the house is paid for, fine, but, well... That's good. When was the last time you had a new coat? Last week. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's... Things. We've never just wanted things. We don't need things. No. We're a very spiritually advanced couple, aren't we? <laughs> oh, yes. my God. Anyway, you don't make enough for a lot of things. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what's the bottom of all this. All this it business you were on about this morning. I had to think in the garden after you left. You know, why do you always go into the garden to think? Not having an affair with that gnome we haven't got, are you? <laughs> I don't know. I just think best in the garden. I well, did you come up with something? She's masturbating no. in the garden, bro. Ta. Oh. That's all right. Hey, I was brilliant at algebra at school, wasn't I? I don't know. I was. Big head. X the unknown. It. In order to track it down, all you have to do is those things you do in algebra. What are they? I can't remember. <laughs> We're both really firing on all cylinders today, aren't we? No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, um... Uh... Oh, what's it going up? You put all your known factors down first. That, that's it, that's it. Paper, paper, quickly, woman, paper. Paper, paper. Ah, right, ta, ta, ta. Now... Known factors. One. I'll put one. <laughs> JJM Limited stinks. Right, get another job. Two, do not really want a job at all. That's a lot of good, isn't it? Oh, no, come on. Well, all right. Three, do not want to work. shuffle off mortal coil without accomplishing something. Four, do not want to feel the same way at 41. And uh, now you're getting somewhere. Right, now. J.M. Stinks. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. You've heard of the don't knows. 
I come across as one of the don't want tos. Well, then, <laughs> let's get positive. All right, new page. File that. Right. Right. One. These people are coke addicts, I bro. I want. <laughs> I want. It. The dramatic zoom. Shall we go to bed? Yes. <laughs> I'll be up in a minute. All right. Happy birthday. Big deal. Sprinkle some powder in there, you're good to go. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? The audience didn't even react. <laughs> You're on. What? We'll do it. Oh, okay. Now, look, have you thought about this? What do you think I've been doing? Taking my wellies for a walk? No, but it'll have to be total commitment. I mean, all our savings Bro, will you go. were down there for like 30 We've seconds. We've got to set ourselves up and then hold out till our first harvest comes in and pays off. Always providing it comes in at all. You've got Colorado beetle, wireworms, slugs, foul pest, all that kind of thing. There'll be a thousand problems. I mean, how do you pasteurize milk? Well, how do you do that? Dramatic zoom. a pig in labor. <laughs> What happens when you ladder your last pair of tights? Say the goat ran under a bus. Tom, there aren't a thousand problems. There are millions. If we think about them all, we'll be 163 by the time we do anything. Say it worked. Just say it worked. <laughs> well, we'll try and make it work. <laughs> How the hell do I know what it is? And then they had weird sex. Get out of bed and have a look. It's probably just some drunk. Jerry, would you please get out of bed and have a look? Oh, God's sake. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Coke addicts. <laughs> Jerry, call the police. What do you think you're doing? Jerry! I said, what the devil do you think you're Jerry, doing? Jerry, call the police. We are dancing in our goofy spot. Oh, that was a damn silly. What do you see? What's going on? It's the goods. They're dancing in their goldfish pot. <laughs> Why? Because! I hadn't thought of that. Why? <laughs> oh, oh, celebrating! Your birthday was yesterday. No! We're celebrating because we found out how to beat it! What's he saying? Look, if you're so damned interested, Margot, why don't you get out of bed yourself and have a look? <coughs> if you must behave like lunatics, kindly do so quietly. Have a little consideration. Sorry, Jerry. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Ever say damn to me in the future, Jerry. Thank you very much. Oh, look at the state of this bed. That's it. Flop, down. Oh, I did not. Flop. I know a flop when I saw it. Oh, look, there. if I can't you sit on my own, own bed without starting an argument. I'm going to have well, to I'd like to ask you one question. Who made this bed in the first place? I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? Well, I didn't. Begin to see Vivian's point. <laughs> Ring, ring, banana phone. Morning, Jerry. What a lovely day. What a very lovely night. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry about that. However, I'm still big enough to offer you a lift. That is, unless you've got the car going again. Haven't got a car to get going. Swapped it for that first thing this morning. Look, it's 20 to 9. It is first thing this morning. Not for us, sons of the soil. Market Gardenery was. Turn him up at half past seven. Swap was done by eight. 
Well, you're going to look very silly driving up Kingsway on that. <laughs> driving up Kingsway made it no longer a part of my life. Oh, my God. Sir sacked you for laughing. Other way round. I sack, sir. Oh, what are you going to do? Got five minutes. Yes? I'll tell you. You sure you won't have that brandy? You're mad. You realise that, don't you? Yes. You're... you're looking Say for it. superlative... Drug addict. Totally Say it. insane. Yes. Rubbish. Tom, the man said the goat will be here by noon. Lovely. <laughs> the goat? Yeah. This is sheer funny. Michael Jordan's coming. Work. work. You're... you're totally insane. Jerry, we've never been saner in all our lives. Now, if you excuse I me, I've that. got 300 weight of spuds to put in. <laughs> Jerry called the police. Roll credits. <laughs> God, that was strange. Just because it was different than any um, UK show I've watched in the sense that it was shockingly happy. You know? Like, it was almost like... It was a lot more... Like, American style, almost, I want to say. And, and while I don't necessarily think that's completely a bad thing um i can s i understand um why people wouldn't like it i i can under it's definitely maybe a little bit too happy they the main characters are 100 percent coke addicts and uh yeah I, I get what vivian was talking about in the, <laughs> in the young ones episode <laughs> I get a lot more. I am glad I saw it, though. I'm glad I um, experienced that for myself. I really am, because I, I think it was important to uh, to see it. My shoulder's fucking going out for whatever reason. But, um, yeah, that was weird. It was just... It, I, I don't want to say off-putting, but it was strange just compared to everything else I've pretty much watched from UK television. It was a, It was a weird one, but... That is going to do it for my reaction to Good Life. Um, if you want to see more in the future, let me know. Uh, let me know what you thought of the show. That is going to do it uh, for me today, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel for 15 views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me daily motion, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all of them currently recording all 108 of my Patreons to support me on my channel. For those you know, you can be a Patreon of me for as low as $1 or £1. You exit direction videos as well as reading comments up to date early. And get your name, enter your name in the description as well. Also, in the description is linked to the community Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as, Twitch, as, well as the Twitch Vods channel. For all that being said, though, my name is Taffer Steen. It's been my reaction to the good life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.